Welcome back. Helping those in need here in Connecticut. For the first time, Operation Fuel is offering a way for you to experience what it's like to live without heat. Brenda Watson is here to tell us a little bit more about the Ice House event. Thanks for being with us. Hi, thanks for having me back. Welcome back. So tell us a little bit about what's going on. We're so excited. Operation Fuel um, is hosting the first ever Ice House in Connecticut. Um, sponsored by Eversource, so we're very grateful to Eversource for um, their longtime partnership. Mm -hmm. um, so we're constructing a house out of ice, a 15 by 15 foot size house. Um, okay. Bill Kovitz from Ice Matters out of Cheshire is building it for us on a lawn of the Old State House in Hartford, Connecticut. Wow. Um, so on January 24th, we're asking the, pub the public to come on down, um, make a small donation and experience what it's like to live in a house that's without heat and electricity. And we're looking at some pictures here. <laughs> so is this what it's kind of going to look like? That's exactly what it's going to look like. Um, we might have a little bit more embellishment there. Okay. Um, we're looking at uh, three entryways and a window, um, a fire extinguisher made out of ice for safety. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it's going to be a fun event and a very fun way to highlight a dangerous um, issue for many sure. households, actually 500,000 households in, in Connecticut. Where did the idea come from to build this ice house? So Operation Fuel is a member of a national organization that um, a, a, a coalition of other fuel funds throughout the nation. Gotcha. And um, there are a number of other fuel funds throughout the, the country that are hosting ice houses around the same time period, right. around January 24th and 25th. Um, so we're looking at Washington, D.C., Maryland, um, New Jersey, Colorado, Washington State, mm -hmm. um, and Connecticut will now be a part of that roster. It's sort of a, a fun way to draw attention to something that is not fun at all, but is very important for you to get the word out. And, and sometimes something like this can help with that. Absolutely. And I mean, now that the temperatures have really, we've really come into winter. Yeah. Um, I think we've had a few mild days. Um, but now this morning even, it was really cold. Sure. Um, so living in a household without a heat and electricity is, it's very dangerous for people, especially vulnerable populations, um, seniors, people living with disabilities, and um, children. Yeah, and tell folks about how you all help those folks when they need the help. Right, so um, there are a number of ways people can access our assistance. The first is, would be to call 211. Um, the folks at 211 will refer people to the field bank or intake site that's closest to them, um, or they can go to our website. We have a field bank finder on our website, operationfuel.org, and if you type in the name of your uh, city or town, the field bank, also known as an intake site, will pop up with the information and um, how, to, how to apply. Okay, and so for the Ice House, anyone can stop by? Anyone can stop by. Um, we invited the mayor of Hartford, who's nice. coming in, I'm hoping, hoping to have an appearance um, by the governor. Um, I know he's super busy. Uh -huh. um, and busy time of year for busy him. Busy time know? of year for him. <laughs> and um, again, uh, folks of Eversource will be there volunteering. And, um, you know, we're very excited. And there will be food trucks out there. So, uh, you know, for folks who want to come out on their lunch break, um, can come out and you know, grab a bite at one of the, I think it's going to be four or five food trucks that are in the area. Great. And again, take a walk through, um, chill out with Operation Fuel. And actually the website is right there as well if folks want some more information about your organization. Thank you so much, Brenda. We appreciate it. Thank you for having me back. And please, I'm willing to come back anytime you want me. We're happy to have you always. Thank, <laughs> Thank you, you, Brenda. And still ahead this morning on Eyewitness News, the deadline to sign